Hello everyone, my name is Soham Deng and I am going to present my paper entitled Implementation of Optimized PIT Controllers in Real Time for Magnetic Levitation System. I am from Dr. Vishra Engineering College, Durgapur, and my co authors are Prof. Subrata Banerjee and Dr. Jyoti Deng from the Department of Electrical Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Durgapur, India. Now, <coughs> these are the contents. Now, coming to the introduction part. Electromagnetic levitation system has been emerging as a brand new uh, engineering uh, scientific technology in the field of modern engineering over the past few decades. In this system, a ferromagnetic object is suspended and levitated in the air with the help of electromagnetic forces without any kind of mechanical support. Now, the gravitational effect on the electro uh, on the suspended object is completely counterbalanced by the electromagnetic force. When a stable equilibrium is reached between the electro oppositely acting gravitational and electromagnetic force, the ball stably levitates in the air. Uh, but it is quite a challenging task to maintain the equilibrium between the oppositely acting gravitational and magnetic force because uh, magnetic charge uh, cannot have <coughs> stable equilibrium position when a static force is applied following the inverse square law the above mean, <coughs> these uh, these challenges and these um, difficulties are continuously motivating the controllers and the researchers all over the world to implement uh, various control algorithms which can uh, <coughs> which can uh, overcome the inherent instability problem as well as improve the uh, system performance now, these are some important applications of maglev system. The first one is the magnetic levitation train. In Japan and Germany, maglev trains are one of the most important mode of transportation. The required lifting and uh, propulsion force are provided by the electromagnets lying on the railway tracks over the uh, entire course of the journey of the train. And the second one is the magnetic bearing. Here, a uh, ferromagnetic rotor is elevated in the air with the help of stator mounted electromagnet. Since the system is free from mechanical uh, friction, uh, the overall efficiency of the system is uh, greatly increased. Uh, it's greatly increased. And now, the third one is the <coughs> magnet maglev wind turbines. This type of wind turbines can be 31% more efficient than the conventional wind turbines. And last but not the least, there is the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which can achieve better, uh, which can achieve better acceleration and lesser stress in the airframe of the aircraft system. Now, this is the description of uh, hardware setup used in as used for the. Um, experimental purpose in this research role. The instrument is uh, manufactured by the feedback instruments. The main components are electromagnetic coil, steel ball, IR sensors, analog digital interface and the PC. Now if you look at the block diagram, uh, when current passes through the electromagnetic coil, a magnetic field is produced which attracts the ball in upward direction. Uh, but the gravitational force tries to pull the ball in a downward direction. So when an equilibrium is reached between the oppositely acting magnetic force and the oppositely acting magnetic force and the <coughs> gravitational force, the ball stably levitates in the air. The ball position is measured by the IR sensor, which is fed back to the computer through the analog digital port. <coughs> as a feedback signal. In the computer there is the controller. The controller uh, pro produces the <coughs> controlling signal based on the feedback signal and which is sent to the current amplifier through the analog to digital board. Now <coughs> the current amplifier uh, based on the control signal manipulates the current in such a way that the required lifting force is generated and the stable equilibrium is maintained over the entire range of uh, emitted and the ball can stably levitate it in the air at the desired position over the <coughs> entire uh, over the entire uh, range of position. Now our uh, objective or the objective main objective of this research work is to design the controller such that the <coughs> Uh, controller can not only uh, stabilize the plant but also improve the dynamical performance of the system. <laughs> now, to design the, uh, now to design the controller, it is necessary to have a mathematical model. Let the ball mass is given by M, the gravitational force is G, Z is the ball position, I is the coil height, and C is the coil parameter constant. Then, nonlinear ball dynamics is given by the equation number one. 
This nonlinear equation can be linearized by a suitable equilibrium point I0 and Z0. My Taylor's expansion method, the linearized version of no, uh, equation 1 is given by equation number 3. Now, evaluating the partial derivative and putting the equilibrium points, we obtained equation number 4. And applying the Laplace transform in equation 4, we obtained the value transformation as given by equation number 5. Now the file current I is directly proportional to the control input voltage U and the <coughs> such output voltage ZP is directly proportional to the ball position Z. Now employing this condition in phi we obtain the parametric transfer function of the system as given by equation number 6. Now the parameter values of the neglect uh, physical neglect physical setup is given by is indicated in this uh, table. Now putting these values in equation number six, we obtain the final transfer function as given by equation number seven. Now looking at the trans uh, transfer function, uh, we, it can be <coughs> uh, concluded that there is uh, one pole of the system in the right hand side of the spin and there is another pole in the left hand side of the spin. Now the presence of the right hand side, uh, um, the presence of the pole in right hand side spin makes the system highly unstable. Now to uh, stabilize the plan and to, uh, to control the pole position, uh, the PID controller is used in this word. The PID controller transfer function is given by this equation. Um, <coughs> the PID controller has three controlling parameters, namely the proportional gain KP, the integral gain KI, and the derivative gain KD. Now, <clears throat> the PID controller is the most widely accepted controller in industrial process control action. If the PID controller parameters are properly tuned, then it can be able to provide satisfactory performance. Since the magnetic levitation system is highly nonlinear and inherently unstable, the classical PID tuning techniques will not uh, 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 <coughs> fail to provide good uh, performance. Um, uh, so, for that reason, in this research work, um, the modern evolutionary meta heuristic optimization algorithms like uh, genetic algorithm, vertical swarm optimization, and gear optimization are used for beta tuning of the controller parameter. The optimum <coughs> values of the PID gains are obtained by minimizing unsuitable performance in this index based on various time domain error functions. The controller uh, parameters of the performance of the optimized controller parameters are compared uh, in terms of various transient and <coughs> various transient and steady state specifications like uh, overshoot, rise time, settling time, etc. Now, these are the design steps uh, for implementation of optimized PID controller. <coughs> First, initialize the controller parameter values KP, KI, KD based on stability and analysis based design. Then run the simulation to obtain the step response of the compensated system. To achieve more precision in the result, reduce the time step by half and double the time range of the step response obtained in step 2. Define the performance criteria according to the requirements. Execute the optimization algorithm to obtain optimum controller parameter values that minimizes the <coughs> performance criteria. Then in step 6, uh, reset the controller parameter values of step in step 5 and final in step 7, run the simulation again to get the desired step response. The computer simulation is done in MATLAB simulating software version 2016A. <coughs> this is the figure shows the simulation uh, model which is used to simulate the dynamical behavior of the MATLAB system when various optimized uh, <coughs> controllers are implemented. <coughs> After uh, doing the computer simulation, and these re uh, results are of the following results are obtained. The figure shows the step response of uh, <coughs> the system over a closed loop system and various optimized PID controllers. Are okay. Now, uh, this table indicates uh, the parameter values and the performance specification of the optimized PID controllers. If we uh, look at the um, Results we can see that and the GW based PID controller <coughs> provides better result compared to the other techniques. Uh, the GW PID uh, minimizes the overshoot to 1.5 percent, while the performance and uh, the overall speed of the response uh, is quite uh, with. Uh, 
Now, after getting um, satisfactory performance in the simulation, the same parameter values are implemented in the uh, real-time hardware setup uh, to obtain the experimental results and also to validate the simulation results in real-time experiments. And this diagram shows the step response plot when various um, optimized uh, <coughs> when various optimized PID controllers are implemented in real time also the GWS PID controller is providing better result than the other two methods. <coughs> now discussions and conclusion an extensive literature survey on modeling dynamics and control of magnetic levitation has been carried out the study on the dynamical behavior uh, <coughs> through mathematical modeling of the maglev band have been investigated and similar results have been presented the parameters of classical PID controllers have been optimized by meta heuristic optimization algorithms like ga pso gw the controller performance is compared for different performance criteria based on various transit and series state specification and the three mm, modern materialistic optics algorithm, the GKU optimization this PID controller outperforms others. It can provide better transient response and improve output tracking capability. Uh, these are the references, these are some references. With this, uh, I conclude my <coughs> presentation. Thank you very much.